Good morning, good afternoon, a good evening, and welcome back to yet another episode of Words on Wednesday with Dr. Ed Womack, the Urban Leadership Strategist. And today, oh my goodness, I am just fired up. I am so charged. This past weekend was absolutely beyond the wildest of our expectations. The Reclaim the Flame, Ignite the Fire Conference illuminated our topic for the day. Teamwork makes the dream work. Oh my goodness, when the purposeful diva, LaTracy Copeland-Hughes, reached out to Coach Terrence, the unstoppable Coach Leffridge, and asked, would the men of vision like to come alongside the women of the purposeful divas and help us to put on the conference of Reclaim the Flame, Ignite the Fire? We were ecstatic, we were humbled, we were honored, but let me tell you this, what we discovered was that teamwork made the dream work baby if you were not present for this past conference you need to make your reservations right now to be in attendance next year and the reason i say that is because when we went in to this joint venture we knew that we had to rely upon each other we knew we had to incorporate the essence of team and you guys know i love acronyms so today i'm going to leave you with this so that you can perhaps incorporate it into your very journey into your very life here we go team Together, everyone achieves more. That's right. Together, everyone achieves more. Teamwork makes the dream work, y'all. What we realized, what we observed this past weekend was just the epitome thereof. We were able to come together, combine our energy, combine the chemistry, combine the insight and information that we were sharing, and people were just sucking it up. They were embracing it. They walked away charged. They walked away motivated. They're still reaching out to us via social media. They're reaching out via phone call. They're reaching out via any means necessary. And you know why? <laughs> because they left with a clear understanding. Not only did they need to reclaim the flame or ignite their fire, but as a part of that experience, what they came to know is this. Teamwork makes the dream work. You see, there's no I in team. There is an I in win, but team, when you have the right type of people around you, when you have the necessary motivation, when you have the accountability that's in play, when you have the sharing of ideas and you allow the diversity of the group to contribute to the greater good of the overall mission, ooh wee baby, you get into something that we again call team where the end result is together, everybody achieves more. I am just so ecstatic, so delighted, so humbled at the way that the men and the women came together, at the way that the men of vision provided that example by sight of men working together collaboratively instead of competition and the impact that we left in Biloxi, Mississippi is one that I believe will go on and go down in history. So I impart upon you, regardless of what your mission may be, what your aspirations may be, be it in your life, your work, or your play, take hold of this one, this nugget for this week. Teamwork makes the dream work. And again, together, everyone achieves more. And when you put down the ego, the we go and the me go and decide that if we come together in collaboration versus competition, we all can go. Oh, my goodness. Hey, I hope you guys got something out of that. And we'll be back next week on Words on Wednesday. But again, this week, I'd be remiss if I didn't leave you with this. Good, better, best. We can't let it rest until our good is our better and our better is our best. And as you began to realize the benefits of together, everyone achieves more. We'll see you at the top now because the bottom's entirely too crowded. We'll see you guys next week. This is Dr. Ed Womack, the Urban Leadership Strategist. Peace.